What this woman said went viral and triggered modern woman. So I'm back with another reaction video, guys. And today we're going to be reacting to another The Coffee Pod video, man. And basically, this woman right here, she went viral for being traditional. You get what I'm saying? Because, you know, apparently we live in a society where women that are traditional, they're looked down upon. You get what I'm saying? Which is very sad. But I ain't gonna waste our time. We're gonna get straight into the video, man. I need y'all to do me a favor, though. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And most of all, turn on those post notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video. So without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into now, it. Tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you How did you get that awesome job? Good answer. Well, I became a better human being, and I became feminine, and also shocking submissive yo what's mm. up youtube welcome to the coffee pod my name is shisha said drink the coffee it'll make you feel better mm -hmm. a married woman by the name of ali just went viral on tiktok instagram and twitter for explaining how to marry a high value man it was real simple Someone just asked her, right? They were recording her and they asked her, hey, I noticed you have a nice ring on your finger. How did you um, get the man that you have? And the reason it went viral wasn't because um, they were taking notes. It was because they didn't like what she had to say. All right, guys, no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hey, Allie, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did, you, how did you get that awesome job? Good answer. Mm. Well... I became a better human being, mm -hmm. and I became feminine, and also shocking, submissive. Good so answer. That was Good answer. The so, what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife? To embrace it, it's an actual job. You just can't get it in the public or private sector. Like you need, you need a man to hire you for it. But that's okay, because if you think about it, you submit to your boss who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your, and your boss wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where, where no, that's crazy. Them? But well, she's, that's facts, though. I think should work for the men that they want to pursue. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy. So if you think about it, like, you want a lawyer, right? So then you should be a paralegal. Or if you want a dentist, then you should be a dental hygienist. But these are considered, I guess, high-value high status professions. But I think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize. Because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that married the doctor, okay? But who has the last laugh? Like, her in her McMansion with her husband who's <laughs> high and the baby. Like, that's that's who has the last laugh. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys know that pissed all these... Mo it's sad that, you know, only very few women in society have that mentality and really understand the dynamic of a traditional relationship. It is statistically proven that traditional relationships are more successful than modern relationships. And the reason for that is because the man and the woman, they are both playing within their roles. They know their roles. You know what I'm saying? And as I've told you many times, I believe in gender roles. You get what I'm saying? Um, I don't believe in a woman being masculine and a, and a man being feminine. I don't believe in that. Now, typically what you would have in a modern relationship is, you know, usually you'll probably have the woman and the man going half and half on the income and, you know, and finances and stuff like that, which is cool. If that works for you, then do you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not judging you for that. If that works for you, then do you. But I personally, I just believe that when a man is in control of the finances and he knows his worth as a man and he's taking care of everything. I just feel like that is a man's duty to do that. You get what I'm saying? To take care of all the finances and stuff like that. While the woman is focused on, you know, the more important things, you know, like taking care of the family, cleaning, cooking, you get what I'm saying? Um, being that loving, supportive, significant other for the man. Now, I'm not saying that she can't bring in income neither to the house to contribute she can do that as well all i'm saying is is that the woman shouldn't be the breadwinner in the house when you have a situation like that when you have a situation where the woman is making more money she's gonna feel like she's in control because she makes more money you get what i'm saying if she feels like she's in more control then therefore she will be less submissive she will be less likely to listen to you and take you serious as a man 
because she's making more money than you. And she'll think that because she makes more money that she can make better financial decisions or she knows more about money than you do because she makes more money. You get what I'm saying? So to avoid that and your best bet to avoid that would to just find a traditional woman. Now, of course, in in today's society, that is going to be very difficult, but it's not impossible, but it's not going to be easy neither. You get what I'm saying? Especially in the generation that we live in now. Most women in today's society are modern. They're not traditional. They're modern. You get what I'm saying? They've been, you know, brainwashed and by all this social programming from Instagram and TikTok. You need to get the bag and you don't need a man and this and that. They've been told all these lies. You feel me? But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Modern women now. This coffee smells like <laughs> shit. I know it did. I know it did because the comments in response to what she had to say were Uh-oh. crazy, right? But let's instead see of me what, reading them, let's um, see. I'm going to let Allie respond to these comments because she had time. Guys, Allie is also a YouTuber. You can go check her out at The Real Femme Sapien. I'll have it pinned at the bottom top comment. Go check her out and follow her on YouTube. Also, Just Pearly Things is also featured in this um Video I have her pinned at the top of the comments too. She was a feature in the channel in the past. Let's get to it. Allie, how do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I get my back blown out regularly. I am fully <laughs> paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So, like, I just don't see what's wrong. We with like this coffee. But they can ask themselves why they're single if they want. <laughs> So, Allie, another comment is being a feminine and submissive women shouldn't have to change for men to like them. This is ridiculous. I mean, that's the same type of woman that's going to say that a man should change everything about himself to be a viable partner. So oh. just- exactly. On, preach. Exactly. You see the hypocrisy in that? But you see how hypocritical that is? So, a woman shouldn't have to change herself for a man to like her, right? But a man has to change himself? So that he can be appeasing to the woman. You see, you see the, you see the hypocrisy in that. You get what I'm saying? So this is what I mean. Like these women are, they're self-entitled. They think everything is about them. They think the whole world revolves around them. You get what I'm saying? You know, it's sad, man. It really is. It's sad. So she's the dumb one because she is actually being what a woman is actually supposed to be feminine and submissive because that is actually what a woman is supposed to be a woman is not supposed to be masculine and the go-getter and assertive that's not what a woman is supposed to be like you get what i'm saying preach ali let's go so they're saying that you should be worried from being fired from being a housewife one day and having a gap in employment I would love to be a stay-at-home mom, but I'm too scared to trust men that much. Well, yeah. If you want to work for the rest of your natural born life, you can continue to be afraid of depending on men, right? And uh, again, like, I do my own work as well, so don't understand these women. Allie, this girl says that she prays you find yourself and become confident in, <laughs> in yourself rather than needing to be submissive. This Sad. is crazy, bro. Tell her that I like to find myself on top of my man. So, <laughs> it's all good. Yo, these answers so, are Allie, awesome. the men want to know, where can they find a woman, a woman like you? Oh, I mean, I'm a statistical anomaly, but for the most part, you can find good, wholesome women away from the cities and in the country, especially if they come from a two-parent household. Is there, like, places they can look? Yeah, the entire Midwest. All of that. <laughs> all of that. Mm-hmm. So, do you think, like, like churches, like, what, like, what, like, specific places can they go to to meet women? Church is a complicated thing because it's produced a lot of beta-type males, but I would say that there are feminine women in church. You just have to be careful if they're not delusional. Okay. okay. Great, great responses. Allie, what do you say to the comments that say this set women back 50 years? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so because women 50 years ago were a lot thinner. <laughs> Yeah, Ellie, what is? Yeah, that that is facts though. Women fifty years ago were they were natural. They weren't getting all these plastic surgeries and BBLs. You know what I'm saying? Women back then didn't wasn't walking around looking like Barbie dolls and stuff. You get what I'm saying? You didn't have women back then looking like Nicki Minaj and 
fucking, you know, Cardi B, they getting all this plastic surgery and BBLs and shit. Women back then weren't looking like that. That was when women were actually natural. Like, they were actually natural. Like, you feel me? Everything about them was just natural. That was all them. It wasn't no BBLs, no none of that shit. You get what I'm saying? Now we live in a, uh, we live in a age where it's cool to get a BBL. It's cool to get your nose changed and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to do that stuff. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. We are in the end times. We are in the end times. I really just need y'all to understand that. We are really in the end times. Say to the women that say, this is so sad. <laughs> so sad. I don't see how it's sad. What I think is sad is shaming a woman for being married to somebody that she wants to be married to. Like, why are you mad? Yeah. Ellie, they want to know, is this a joke? Listen, they're just mad because they're single and they can't find a man. So it makes them feel better to hate on another woman that's actually happy with the man that she's with. And that actually knows how to represent herself as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, a lot of these women that are criticizing her and bashing her, these are the same type of women that look up to people like Mega The Stallion, Cardi B, City Girls. These are the same type of women that buy into that buy into the whole feminist propaganda bullshit. You get what I'm saying? These are the same type of women that will say, I don't need a man. I could get the money on my own and this and that. Nobody's saying that you can't get money on your own. Of course you can get money on your own. But to walk around saying that you don't need men is just kind of selfish, man. It, it really is. It's, it's, it's a selfish way of thinking. It's a really selfish way of thinking. It really is. And if you can't see how selfish that way of menta that way of thinking is, then you're part of the problem. Unfortunately, you are part of the problem. <laughs> you feel me? But you know, a lot of women, they're self entitled. They don't never admit that they're wrong. They can't take accountability. So you know, it's only gonna get worse, man. I keep telling dudes, man, it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. And you feel me? And that is exactly why relationships are declining so much now in in our society. You get what I'm saying? It's because you have so many women out here that have these unrealistic expectations. And then you have so many men out here that will just not date these kind of women because they, 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 they can see these women for what they are. Now, of course, you have some simps out here, and the simps are not making it any better. They're making it worse because they're not having no integrity or no principle, and they're not standing by what they say and mean. You get what I'm saying? Because they're controlled by their lust. You feel me? They see a beautiful woman on, on, on social media, and they don't know how to control themselves. And that is a man that has no integrity, no principle. That has no discipline. You feel me? So it's just, it's scary and it's sad with the type of society that we live in now. It's very sad. It really is, man. It really is. And I can understand why a lot of men are moving out of the country and dating other women. I I, I get it. I get it. I don't blame men for going out the country and finding other women to date outside of America. I'm not even surprised. I, I don't even blame them for doing it. Because American women have become so indoctrinated and brainwashed by this whole feminist shit that they got going on in the media, bro. It's it's making men, like, not be attracted to y'all no more. It's like men don't even want to date in America no more because of this shit, man. It's crazy, man. It really is. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're confused. It's not a joke. They just don't understand it. It's like people... Instead of trying to understand something that's new to them, they would rather demonize it. But we do that all over American culture. But you guys are welcome to send me an email and drop some questions. It's Allie at RealFemSafety.com. I'm happy to do breakdowns because I promise the men are not evil. The thing is, though, is that most men can't do for you what my husband does for me. Right? But if you want to find somebody who does that, let me know. Listen, okay. Allie. They said being afraid is a valid fear. I was a stay-at-home mom. She's a pretty woman, too. She's a, she's a, she's a, she's a pretty woman. I will say that. You get what I'm saying? And she's traditional too. So that makes her even more attractive. It's not even just that she's pretty, but she's traditional. So that makes her even more attractive. You get what I'm saying? Cause let's just be real. That's what all men want. 
or I would say the majority of men want, they want a traditional woman. You get what I'm saying? They want a they want a woman that is just a hundred percent feminine, a hundred percent submissive. She knows what it means to really be a woman and she knows her role. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But unfortunately, there is not a lot of women like her out here in America. I mean, they're out there. There like there are traditional women out there. It's just they're not that easily accessible. They're not easy to find. You get what I'm saying? Cause most women now are modern. They're very modern. You get what I'm saying? And after divorce, I got nothing. It's the scariest thing. Yeah, but if you choose to live in fear, you're constantly living in scarcity. And so, you know, I would challenge you. If you got divorced and you got nothing, why not try again at romance and try and see if you can do better? That's better than being alone. You want to know how you feel about letting your husband cheat. Okay, so the PC answer is that if he does step out, that's a reflection upon myself because I am most likely not putting out or I've given up on my looks. My real answer is, you know, uh, as long as I don't know, I can't be mad, can I? Allie, what'd you say? <laughs> no, I was saying is that people think that I'm hard on single people. And it's like, look, like nobody likes being single. You go to work, you come home to nobody. Some people don't even have a dog. And if men don't like being single and men like to have sex more, Get him, Allie. well, obviously, women hate being single more. Allie, what do you say to the women that say, my husband isn't my boss. There is no need to be submissive. You're a team. See, but, and, 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 and that's, the misconception that a lot of women have when when they hear the term submissive. Oh my God, I have to be submissive? So that basically means I have to do whatever my husband tells me to do? No, that's not what that's not what we mean when we say be submissive. Being submissive means to trust into your man. You you want to trust him. You get what I'm saying? To trust him and please him. You get what I'm saying? Because as a wife, you should want to do that. You should want to make sure your man is happy. And in return, he's going to make you happy. You feel me? It just goes both ways. Submissive is not like, oh, hey, bitch, um, make me some food right now. Or I'm going to do this to you. Like, that's not, that's not, but that's what these women think that's what that is. They, that's what they think submissive is like. A man just talking to them crazy and telling them what to do all the time. That's not that's not what being submissive comes from. Being submissive is when you 100% are trustworthy to your man. You are willing to make sure that your man is happy. And you are willing to do anything to make sure he's happy because you love him that much that you just want to see him happy all the time. You get what I'm saying? And in return, he's going to make you happy. Do you get what I'm saying? So y'all are both winning at the end of the day. Do you get what I'm saying? Why is it why is it such a bad thing to make your husband happy? Why is that such a bad thing? What why is it why is it bad to you know make food for your husband? Why why is that such a bad thing? Do you get what I'm saying? I'd like I, I just don't see what's so bad about that. Do you get what I'm saying? And then she added at the at the end. You're a team. And that's what that... And, 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 and this is what that whole modern feminism shit has done to a lot of these women. It's brainwashed them into thinking that that's what marriage is. It's a team. No, 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 no. That's not what marriage is. Marriage is not a team. We're not a team. No. We are not a team. We both have our own roles that we play in a relationship. Do you get... You know what I'm saying? We are not a team. That's not what marriage is. So this this whole idea that marriage is a team is bullshit. You get what I'm saying? I like I like I don't I don't buy into that. I just don't. I don't buy into that. I understand where they're coming from, but these same women don't understand that oftentimes they'll put their husbands on the back burner for like an actual boss in real life that they have to submit to and they constantly ask their husbands to modify their lives for that meanwhile the dude is forgotten he's absolutely sexless and she's feeding him out of the microwave that's, that's the problem if you can work and love your man equally you want to talk about equalism right if you can do that then good but most women can't most women can't even push the power button on an air fryer Allie, what is this the 1950s 
No, it's 2022, and I get this point a lot, this dumb argument. By the way, probably for somebody who wasn't even in that era, the difference between 2022 and 1950 is that in 1950, you were prescribed to be a housewife. In 2022, you get to choose, but guess what? Only like a handful of women even get the option because they plan their lives accordingly. This is oftentimes a projection trying to make it seem like we, we're so awful and oppressed. I don't think so. I get everything I want. I just get it through my husband. In a day and age where women are encouraged to exercise choice and they have all these freedoms um it's just so funny that women try to put down the women who decide hey you know what i actually want to depend on a man or submit to my man right it's like the same women who fight for equal opportunity for women um put down the women who exercise that freedom of choice to be submissive to a man listen i don't see anything wrong with this Ali shared how she got her high value man. The only women who are upset are the women who are watching her succeed and flourish for making the right decisions. <laughs> As always, man, I'm curious to know what you guys thought. Yeah, that's really what it is, man. They're just upset. They're just ex these women are just upset and they're jealous. They're jealous that she was able to find a high value man and live a lifestyle like that while they're while they weren't able to find that man. And that's why I say jealousy and envy is one of the most deadliest sins. It's one of the most deadliest sins. Because envy can really make somebody bitter. It can, it can make someone bitter and it can make them do horrible things because of that. But yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed the video, man. And I'll see y'all in the next reaction.